you are watching Wikilot channel. Today in this video lecture we are going to learn about Coulomb's law in vector form. So what do you mean by Coulomb's law? So this Coulomb's law is also called as electrostatic force or Coulomb's force between two charges. So I am going to consider the two charges suppose Q1 and Q2 are the two point charges they are separated by distance R and they are present in the air medium. Suppose this Q1 and Q2 are the positive charges. Now what you have to do in the Coulomb's vector law? What is the Coulomb's law statement? Coulomb's law states that there is a, always a force of attraction or repulsion between two electric charges when they are placed in certain medium. It may be an air medium, water medium or any dielectric medium. So this force states that, that law states that force is directly proportional to the product of magnitude of two charges and it is inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. So we are going to study this Coulomb's law statement in the vector form. So in the vector form, the force is always a vector quantity, so it will have a magnitude as well as direction. So we will think in that point of view. So let's start. So now see here, uh, as these two are the like charges, so there is obviously the force of repulsion. If they would have been an unlike charges, then there will be a force of attraction. So as we have considered this case, both are like charges, then there will be always a force of repulsion. So I will show that forces in this manner. Why I have shown this forces in this manner? Because the Coulomb's force between two charges is always a central force. That means it acts along the center of the two bodies. So how to read the force acting on second? So see here, F that is force acting on second charge. How to write this? Force acting on second charge due to first charge. Denote it by the bar. Similarly, force acting on first charge due to second charge, it is denoted by F1 bar. Why I have shown the directions opposite in the direction? Because both are like charges and they used to repel each other. So that's why they are directed outwards. See here, this is also directed outward, this is also directed outward. Two charges are separated by distance R. Now you have to consider two unit vectors along the direction of these forces. So F21 bar, there is a unit vector along direction. How to read this? Force acting on second charge due to first charge. So this force is due to first charge. So there will be a unit vector from first to second charge and it is denoted by R12 cap. Similarly, force acting on first charge due to second charge. So it will be denoted by R21 cap. So that means it is directed along the direction of force F12 bar. So we have four terms now with us F12 bar, F21 bar, then R12 cap and R21 cap. So now how to read that? Just see here. Force acting on first charge due to second charge. Force acting on second charge due to first charge. R12 cap is the unit vector directed along which force? F21 bar. R21 cap is the unit vector directed along which force? F12 bar. So this is the prerequisite for the Coulomb's law in vector form. So now we will write down the equation according to the Coulomb's statement. So I will write here F1, I will start with F21 bar first force acting on second due to first it is given by the formula 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught as it is in air medium multiplied by q1 into q2 upon square of the distance between them multiplied by which is the unit vector along this direction it's r12 cap so i will write here it as r12 cap i will call this as equation 1 Similarly, force acting on first due to second charge is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught multiplied by product of two charges q1 into q2 upon square of the distance between them multiplied by 
which is unit vector along this direction it's r2 1 kappa now see most of the student gets confused how to say this direction it's very simple force force acting on first due to second so that means the unit vector must be directed from second to first so how to read this from second to first similarly force acting on second due to first so that force must be from 1 to 2 so unit vector must be from directed from 1 to 2 like that so we have two equations with us now first equation and second equation and what is our pre request right now see here r1 to cap and r2 one cap both are the unit direct unit vectors and they are directed opposite to each other so as they are opposite to each other they are shown by negative sign so if i replace this r1 to cap by minus r2 one cap into equation 1 then that equation will become see here just i will replace that and it will be replaced by minus r2 one cap and this minus sign i will take at the outside of this bracket and it will become like this now observe this quantity this entire quantity and this equation too so both right hand sides are equal except the negative sign so we can see that the force acting on second charge second charge due to first charge is equal to force acting on first charge due to second charge they are equal in magnitude but as this negative sign indicates they are opposite in direction that means they are repulsive in the nature if instead of this positive charges it would have been a negative charges that positive negative if first charge is positive and second charge is negative then there will be a force of attraction between these two charges and there will be no presence of this negative sign in some of the books instead of 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 they have used the constant of proportionality as k k can be written as 1 upon 4 pi epsilon 0 multiplied by epsilon r where epsilon r is the permittivity of the medium epsilon not is the permittivity of free space but this epsilon r is not for the air medium is always going to be equal to 1 so that's why this k is can be written as 1 upon 4 pi epsilon not so here this constant of proportionality i have written directly just take the note of this thanks for watching this video stay tuned for more such videos please like and share this video with your friends also refer my website wikinote.org follow us on our facebook page wikinote foundation the links for the same are provided in the description box below